This is Petra Jordan, known as the Lost City and one of seven wonders of the world. We explored Petra for two full days, so we're going to make sure that you hit all of the highlights and get your questions answered before you go to get the most out of your time here. So let's get started. First stop, Amman. Almost Everyone will start their journey to Petra from Amman, the capital of Jordan. So the first thing you need to know is what is the best way to get to Petra from Amman? The easiest way, unless you want to rent a car and go there, is to take the jet bus. It is a public bus, but it goes straight there. It's, I guess, more of a tourist bus, right? Because it goes straight from Amman to Petra. And it is 10 JD per person. So just knowing you book the ticket to get to Petra from Amman, you're going to either want to come to the office or you're gonna to wanna to book this online. But know that you can't book it online from your home country. You have to be in Jordan to book it. So either have someone you know here, like we did book it for you, or wait till you get here and book it right away though because they do sell out. So how far is Petra from Amman? Well, it's about 235 kilometers. Or about three hours away. Let's go. Let's do it. opening hours of Patra. Well, in the winter, in the summer, they're actually different. In the winter, it's from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. and in the summer, it's 6 to 6. So what currency is used here in Jordan? That is the Jordanian dinar, or what everyone calls it, the JD. JD. So what is the entrance fee for Patra? Well, if you just want to come here and buy a ticket, it is 50 JD for one day, or you can be 55 for two days. But we don't recommend either of those. We recommend you getting the Jordan Pass, and we got the two day explorer, which comes out to about 75 JD. So for 20 more JD, it includes your visa, it includes two days of Petra, and it includes over 40 attractions throughout the country. Our credit cards accepted in Jordan. Yes, you can have visa or MasterCard or obviously cash the, the JD. Got some falafel takeaway for this hot journey. So we got two falafel wraps with two big waters. This is about to be a fun day. And it was like a takeaway place, 15 JD. I mean, it's in front of Petra, we kind of assumed, but 15 JD comes out to about 21 US dollars. If you get this downtown in Amman, not that expensive. Maybe just a couple bucks. What color you like? Um, Jordan, the typical color is red and white, which is the, the typical colors. Okay. Like try it, Mom, to show you how to do the bit one way. Absolutely. First, triangle, butt on, both sides the same tall. Okay. After that, both sides in the back, and hold it the back. This one, we cross it to the other side, all the way around. Okay. Talking in here in the back. <laughs> and that side, the same thing. A little bit nice in the front. Oh. And talking. That's awesome. awesome. Feels good. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> You're like a Jordanian now. Ah, I'm trying, trying, yeah. huh? So are there any discounts available for the entrance fees? The answer is yes, but there's a catch. So you either have to be 12 years old or under, you have to be a student, or you have to be a Jordanian citizen, of which we are none of those. Hat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm trying, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> and remember to bring your passport because they will match your passport to the name on the ticket. Don't forget. <laughs> Can you hire a horse or a camel to see Petra? Yes, you can definitely hire a horse. I believe there are camels here, but I haven't seen them yet. But right when you get through the main entrance, you'll get bombarded with people trying to get you to ride a horse. There are many available. I don't know the price, but they say it could be included in your ticket, although it was not included in the Jordan Pass. No, no, no. It's trying to get you to buy it. So <laughs> yeah. use your feet, take a walk, let's go. It's only a kilometer. So the caves, way back when, kind of brought like a natural air conditioning for this hot summer day. And in the winter, they kind of provide some warmth. So 
to Apra Caves, and I might be here for a little bit. We made it to the main attraction. We're here at the Treasury. As you can see, it's really busy. It's about 2 p.m. So tomorrow we'll come back and check how it is early in the morning so we'll know what the difference is, but it is packed. Petra's a world wonder. So if you're wondering, are there bathrooms in Petra? Why, yes, there is. So Nicole, which way should we go? I think we're gonna go with Sacrifice. It's 90 plus degrees. And Nicole chooses the hardest trail to where they sacrifice people, I believe. So if you're wondering what's a where to Petra, first of all, there's no dress code here. But second off, I do recommend wearing something breathable, especially if you're here like at the prime time, more of like April and May and on. It's, it gets really hot. Also, people have said you could use um, Hiking boots? You don't need hiking boots. I'm in my sneakers and it's working just fine. <laughs> I would not recommend flip flops, so just closed toed shoes, something comfortable, something you want to take a picture in, and uh, some sun protection because it gets hot, but you can buy these here. However, I bought this in Amman because it is half the price and the quality is much better. So I'm not exactly sure what was sacrificed here, but you can definitely see that there is an, an altar with a hole dug out in it right by where Nicole's sitting. Stairs to get there, and then like some dug out like area that looks like it's either for rain or blood, which <laughs> is kind of scary to think about that you need something so deep to run the blood through. But we're hoping that this is just water, you know, catches water or something like that. Sacrifice the sunlight for rain. <laughs> Best hopes, but not crossing my fingers on that one. All right, so we are headed somewhere we didn't do any research on, but we saw it looked really cool on the walk in. So it's called the cave, the cave bar. bar. <laughs> this place is cool. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That is a good beer. Cheers. The cave bar after well deserved death. Well deserved. Alright, so we are staying at a traditional boating camp. Obviously, it's more of like a hotel boating camp, but it's really neat so you stay in mm. tents and we are way out there we're nowhere near patch over all the the tourist hotels are so this is pretty pretty fun yeah this is really authentic so i'm yeah. very excited for it. we're supposed to have a traditional boudin dinner tonight so i'm excited to see what that will look like i'm very hungry and we are starving we haven't <laughs> eaten really anything today was that our takeaway food yes yes the <laughs> falafel come on in <laughs> This is our traditional Boudin tent camp. We have some traditional fabric here, a fan, not that we might probably need it, maybe just for noise, and a king size bed for yours truly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we'll get to see some stars later. So here at the Boudin camp, it's a buffet style dinner, and luckily there is plenty of veggies that I am mowing through two plates of currently, and it's really really good okay so i had more of the traditional boudin food they didn't have maffa which i was really hoping they'd have but they had some other one that was very similar i usually maffa has lamb in it but this one had chicken but the rice was very similar so i had that delicious very very good and then i had a bunch of vegetables kind of like nicole had um i would give dinner a seven out of ten so now that we're stuffed and nicole has a cool cup it's a room key. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to take a shower and get ready for bed because we have to do it again tomorrow. But look <gasps> at this view. That's, That's amazing. beautiful. Tomorrow Can't night, maybe beat we'll it. stay up a little later, but I'm beat. Yeah, it's been an early day for us. We started at 3.30. Woo! 
So it's time for us to go to bed and get up and do it again at sunrise. We're this way. And we're this way. <laughs> Good night. So Nicole, what time is it? I actually don't know. What is it, like 10 a.m.? 9 a.m.? It's gotta be like 9.30 and the, the tourists are here. Woo, but it is so much cooler today. It is much cooler. So I'm okay with that. We have a long day of hiking ahead of us. I think we're starting to figure out that the best time to visit Petra is gonna be early in the morning and late in the afternoon. Yeah, the middle of the day is gonna get pretty hot, but yeah. today but will be 20 degrees cooler than yesterday, so. Much cooler, and we noticed in the afternoon around five, there was like no tourists here, or barely any, so it's a good opportunity to get some pictures. So we just paid one of the local guys. Uh, we're headed up to the top where you can take one of those beautiful pictures that you see all over Instagram. It came out at 25 JDs from the beginning. Uh, it is super negotiable. We got him down to 11. And now we're going to the top to hopefully take a beautiful picture. So where we just got tea, up there at the top and took those amazing photos, was it's actually not even supposed to be there. It's not a part of the park. So the- You can't get in without paying. <laughs> yeah, it's basically blocked off at the bottom. You have to pay. Um, and we talked about that earlier, but up at the top, the guy carries wood every morning. He brings all the, the carpets and all the seating and everything every day because every night the park takes away his stuff and closes the entryway. So every morning he wakes up and That's goes up redo there. redo it again. <laughs> but super nice guy, highly recommend to come up here. It is worth it. It's worth it. It was a great experience. They're super nice. They're just trying to make it and having a good time while doing it. And it's it. fun. They put on a little music, have some tea. Yeah. Can't beat it. Exactly. So when you're here, right when you come through the entrance and see the treasury, take a right and then climb up. There'll be people yeah, telling you the Yeah, don't go to the, the left. Time. The photos aren't as good. Make sure to go to the right. Yep, exactly. So this here is an amphitheater. It's actually built by the Romans. It has one of the, the little Roman amphitheater look, right? But they actually carved it into the mountain, which makes it so unique. And it can fit about three to 4,000 people in there. Wild. So these are the royal tombs. And you can get here by just staying on the main track all the way through. Just keep walking past the treasury and it'll be on your right. Let's go see what it's about. Oh my goodness! I think I'm ready for a puppy. <laughs> this is the Great Temple, and we are in the Roman area. So we can't fly, apparently. Uh, <laughs> you can walk all the way around to get over there, mm -hmm. or we could just keep going and then hit it on the way back. So that's the plan. Yeah. We gotta make it to the monastery before we get kicked out. So if you are venturing over to the monastery, which you should, when you're in Petra, there are actual restaurants that you can stop halfway through and have an actual lunch. We're gonna keep walking, but maybe later. And that is just a natural Boudin garage door. Now we have about 850 stairs to the top. Already getting tired and it is hot. <laughs> we chose the middle of the day per the usual. That's more of our style, just to get roasted and not prepare appropriately. Uh, there's no way we could have done this in 90 degree weather in the middle of the day. No, so not yesterday. If you are coming when it is 90 degrees like yesterday, yeah, you have to go probably early in the morning, just head straight here and hit the stuff on the way back. Yeah, but that's true because it is the end of the trail. Mm -hmm. But let's do it. Woo! So we're about 30 minutes in and I see why they call it the monastery. Even if it's not a monastery, it's like a pilgrimage to the top. You have to really want it. I'm excited to see it. I'm hoping it's worth it. It's the heat. It's the That's heat. what it is. It's it's pretty hot. It's unforgiving. It's just rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid to take some breaks. That one's gone rogue. He's had enough for today. This is what we're here to see. <laughs> So this place is really neat. So this is all the way at the end of mm -hmm. the trail, so to speak. And I'm just wondering who is up there way back when 
making Look these. At that. All the way up there. This is massive. There's no animal lifting them up there. Where are they standing? How are they carving into this rock? This thing is incredible. Unless it was like a team of very skilled goats. I don't know exactly how they got up there. This is a must see. Like this is probably my favorite area in Petra. Yeah. The treasury is amazing. Yeah, the treasury is really cool. But you'll go right past it to get to here, but you can't miss this stop. No, no, this is a, if I've only got one day, you just hike all the way up here and then work your way back. Yeah, get here early. Very early. And we're back in Abitian Restaurant. We have a falafel wrap for six JD. And hydration for one JD. Mm. No, that's really good. We might need to get another one. <laughs> So this is super interesting. So they have all these different rocks and they are actually fragments of these cool architecture that have fallen over the years from earthquakes and such. Perform for me. I'm in the audience. So if you want to call a traditional coffee, either early in the morning or on your way back, it's on the main path. You kind of have to look for it because this is in a cave and it'll say coffee on the, on the little sign down there. So you have to kind of veer off the path and walk up here, but then you get this magical area and some really good coffee. All right, <laughs> so two yeah. days in Petra. Yeah. You guys have already watched the end of the video. You know this place is amazing. It is a world so wonder it. for a reason. This place is really neat. If you have extra time, Definitely stay an extra day and see little Petra. Some final thoughts we have here. <laughs> Is Petra safe? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. There are police everywhere. They do a great job of keeping it clean and keeping it safe for all the tourists. So don't have to worry about that. The best time of year to come to Petra is gonna be April or May. Mm -hmm. So that's when the weather's good. Our first day was really hot, but Today was, Today was more of a typical day in the 70s. Yeah, it's so. definitely, it's not too cold at night, especially if you're staying in the boating camps like we are, yep. but it's not too hot during the day. Obviously that midday you're gonna get a lot of heat, but mm -hmm. throughout the day it's been very temperate and amazing. Yep. So if you have any questions that we didn't answer in this video, which True. we hope we answer every, answered everything we have, tried. <laughs> comment down below, we'll make sure to answer it. Yeah, and with that, We'll see you in our next one for Jordan because we have a lot more of this country to explore. This place is amazing. That's right. And if you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe to this video and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>